I'm Susan Lascolette, Chair of the Goochland County Board of Supervisors. During this time, the Board and I would like to assure our citizens we are working with County Administrator Podesky, County Fire Rescue Chief Ferguson, County Sheriff Creasy, School Superintendent Dr. Rayleigh, and County staff to respond to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We strongly encourage all Goochland County residents to follow Governor Ralph Northam's statewide stay-at-home order that was issued on Monday, March 30th, details of which can be accessed at the Goochland County website. The order asks everyone to stay at home except for essential work, food, medical care, or exercise. The mandate aims to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and currently remains in place until June 10th, 2020. We understand it is an extraordinary action, but it is essential that everyone comply for the safety of the community. Until further notice, all Goochland County government offices remain open with reduced operations across all agencies during the business hours of 8.30 a.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. All county buildings were closed to the public beginning on Friday, March 20th, and will remain so until further notice. Departments are still staffed by employees who can assist citizens over the phone and by email. Citizens are encouraged to call ahead or visit www.goochlandva.us for the latest information before attempting to visit any county buildings in person. Citizens are further encouraged to call in advance and schedule telephone appointments with departments and agencies. For our citizens' convenience, drop boxes have been installed on the Sandy Hook side of the county administration building. If you need to drop something off for a department, please ensure it is noted for the office or individual it needs to go to. County parks remain open to the public, but we strongly encourage everyone to help keep our parks open and safe during this health crisis. Please be aware of others, share the trails, avoid congregating in large groups of 10 or more in all group activities. In addition, wash your hands, continue the practice of social distancing, and stay home if you're not feeling well, and enjoy the parks when you're feeling better. These actions will allow the county to keep our parks open and accessible during this time. The Chickahominy Health District has launched a hotline to answer coronavirus COVID-19 questions for residents of Goochland. For the general community, call 804-365-3340. For healthcare providers, please call 804-365-3341. The phone lines are currently open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. For medical assistance, please contact your primary care provider or urgent care facility. We thank the Goochland County Sheriff's Office for providing a prescription delivery service to our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Sheriff's Office will pick up prescription medication at Goochland Pharmacy or Dawson's Pharmacy and deliver those medications to county residents who have a higher risk of serious health issues. According to the CDC, people who are at a higher risk for severe illness include adults 65 years of age or older, pregnant women, and those with underlying medical conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, lung disease, HIV, or asthma. For more information, visit the county website or contact the Goochland County Sheriff's Office at 804-556-5349. For families in our community, our Goochland County Public Schools are supplying free meals to students. Breakfast is served at Bird Elementary, Randolph Elementary, and the Middle School High School Complex from 9 a.m. until noon. Also, the Sunshine Food Bus is serving meals at three of our firehouses. Company 1 from 10 to 10.30 in the morning, Company 3 from 11 to 11.30, 
company six from quarter to one to 115. And also the Sunshine Food Bus is at County Line Church from noon to 1230. More information is on the county and the school's websites. The Board of Supervisors and County Economic Development staff recognize the need to support our local businesses during these difficult times. The county has developed a dedicated website at goochlandforbusiness.com to serve as a resource for Goochland businesses during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. In addition, it contains a list of both businesses that are still open and those that are temporarily closed. In an effort to allow restaurants and business to advertise, beginning immediately, Goochland County businesses can install banners and temporary signs letting the public know they are open for business. No permits or fees are required for these temporary signs and no enforcement action will be taken at this time. We encourage businesses, both large and small, who have questions or in need of assistance to contact Goochland County Economic Development at Goochland for Business at goochlandva.us or call us at 804-556-5862. Please know the county's convenience centers remain open and operating as normal. We do ask for your patience as the convenience centers are experiencing high, higher than normal use, especially with larger items. We, we ask for your understanding and help as we try to manage the disposal of waste and larger items. The Goochland County Animal Shelter remains open by appointment only. The county is waiving fees to help promote adoptions. Please visit Animal Protection's Facebook page and PetFinders.com to see animals available for adoption. In addition, the Animal Shelter is partnering with Goochland Cares to help the people in the community. Individuals interested in helping by donating dog or cat food, dry or canned, can drop it off outside the temporary shelter at the back of the Central High School Cultural and Education Center. Drop-off times are Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sunday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Please donate only dog food and cat food, dry or canned. The county remains committed to working with our national, state, and regional partners in implementing steps to safeguard our community. We share the community's concerns regarding COVID-19 and will continue to follow the guidance and recommendations of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the Virginia Department of Health. By now, I'm sure you're keenly aware of the healthcare crisis or COVID-19 pandemic that is sweeping across the United States. And of course, Virginia and Goodson County are not immune to its far-reaching effects. So we find ourselves in circumstances that are unique and without precedent. We simply have not seen this type of crisis before. We are truly building the road as we walk it, and where it leads is a bit uncertain at this point. As many of you know, April is typically the month when we adopt our budget for the coming year that begins July 1st each year. This elevated degree of uncertainty is an unwelcome guest as we work to finalize the county's budget. Now in all likelihood, we will be revising the county budget to reflect this new reality. However, you can take great comfort in the fact that your county leadership has used the years leading up to this crisis wisely and has built a very solid financial foundation for Goochland. As far as the budget goes, we use very conservative budgeting techniques that provide a bit of cushion against the unexpected twists and turns that inevitably occur. We have, as far as the rainy day fund and reserves go, we have a prudent amount of funds set aside in a rainy day fund for situations such as this. As far as debt goes, we have very little debt at the county level, and the Tucko Creek Service District debt is currently being served by the cash flow from that district without issue. As far as capital building goes and construction, we have been building a number of new county facilities, and while we may need to revisit our near-term plans in light of the current circumstances, we continue to enjoy the benefits of the new construction projects that we completed in recent years. Now, one of the emergency measures that we've undertaken to protect the public health during the COVID-19 outbreak is in our Public Utilities Department. The Goodson County Department of Public Utilities and our neighboring localities have agreed to immediately suspend any disconnection of water and sewer service for late or non-payment. The agencies established this policy in consultation with the respective leadership teams. Residents and other customers are encouraged to contact the Goodson County Department of Public Utilities at 804-556 5835 if their service needs to be restored. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has magnified the issues several of our citizens have accessing internet services. At this time, citizens can take advantage of Wi-Fi hotspots 
at all six fire rescue stations, the county administration building, and all Goodson County public school buildings. In addition, there are limited resources our community can access for free through private providers. Information on these resources and the county's Wi-Fi hotspots is available on our website or by contacting the county at 556-5800. Please know that your Board of Supervisors will continue to work with County Administrator Badesky, County Fire Rescue Chief Ferguson, County Sheriff Creasy, School Superintendent Dr. Raley, and County staff as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to evolve. We encourage you to stay informed of Gooseland County government information by visiting the county website, follow us on Facebook at, at Gooseland County VA, and on Twitter at Gooseland Government VA, G-O-V-T, Gooseland G-O-V-T VA. Thank you.